Welcome everyone, this is Irene Moon, and welcome to this week's episode of Insect Corner. Today's episode, we have stories from New Jersey by an expert on insect stories from New Jersey, a person who's from New Jersey. Okay, hold on. Holding. Uh, you want my name? Yeah. Oh, this is Heinz Seltman, father of Katya Seltman, and uh, I know she's interested in insects and uh, asked me to speak about my experiences with insects. All from New Jersey. Probably the most notable one was when uh, we lived in Livingston, near the Passaic River. What kind of river? The Passaic River. How do you spell that? P-A-S-S-A-I-C. 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 Passaic. And uh, there was uh, a lot of floodplain area, and there were ditches put through there by the Mosquito Commission to drain it. And when we had wet weather and we were making hay... Is that anything like making whoopee? Making hay for the horses and the cows on the farm. You could wipe your hand across the belly of the horses and they would just come out red with blood. With blood. From these mosquitoes that were sucking blood out of the horses. That's how dense the mosquitoes were. Wow, did they usually were. come around at dusk or were they around all day? They were around all the time. In fact, there were times when we wanted to pick some of our berries in the yard, in our Delicious. garden, that we wore beekeepers hats and long sleeve shirts in the summertime so that the mosquitoes wouldn't bother us. Were they the larger brown variety of mosquitoes or were they the newly imported or now not so newly imported um, Asian tiger mosquitoes? I, I don't know what kind of mosquitoes they were. They were New Jersey mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> and that was really my first experience with insects. What about bees? Tell us more. Uh, a good friend of the family it was a German fellow, Ernst Nubert. He was an amateur beekeeper, and uh, he took me to a beekeepers meeting up in North New Jersey. Back in New Jersey. And all these people were there because the farmer who had these hives was having some difficulty, and so they were opening up the hives and taking the uh, frames out and looking at them and nobody had on a beekeeper's hat except one fella and the only person that was stung was the guy who had the beekeeper's hat on and what happened was one of the bees got caught in the folds of the cloth and stung and was and panicked and stung him but everybody else was just walking around without any protection at all and the bees were just swarming all over the place, but nobody got stung. They land on you and fly away. And actually, they used they made smoke when they opened the hive to to uh, sort of sedate the bees. But <laughs> but we laughed like the devil because the only guy that got stung was the guy with the hat. And the moral take home of this story is: the more careful that you are the more trouble we are actually going to get in. The second moral take home of this story is that bees, Apis mellifera mellifera. Oh, we're talking domestic bee, aren't we? Or the common honeybee. Their stingers and poison are very specific for large mammals. Think about it. Who likes honey more than anything? or more than humans and bears. Nothing. So the apis bees toxin, their venom and their stinging methods are specific for us. And that's all for today's Insect Corner. Bye.